So, hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about libraries or more specific, specifically static libraries. But first, what are libraries? Libraries are collection of objects that are made available for use by other programs. They are pre-compiled functions to avoid repetition. They are not executable, but they are used at runtime or compile time. So there are two types of libraries in C programming. The first one is static libraries, and we also have shared libraries. For the purpose of this video, we'll focus on static libraries. Static libraries, they start with dot A, they end with dot A extension, and the dot A stands for archive. So they are used for function that are used frequently or for redistribution from you or from a third party. That is, a third party can share them with you, or you can use it to share your function with someone else. Now Anything linked from the static library is compiled directly into the final object. Any changes that need recompilation, any changes that you make, we have to be recompiled to the linked objects. We use a arrow command to create static libraries, and the name of your static library should start with .lib. So let's get to it. So. So, for us to work with the static libraries, we have to create some codes. So, let's assume that we have a code and we want to create, we have, uh, we have two functions. So, let's say the first one is hard, the second one is subtract. So, let's create the first function, the hard function, okay? So, I'll call this vim add.c. All right? So for this, let's impute our header. So we say include stdio.h. Then the function void, let's call it add. So we take in two arguments, int a, int b. It's a simple function, so we just do a print f <coughs> that says addition is okay. So the sum of the number, which is an integer, let's put this on a new line. All right, and let's just call this a plus B. It's a quick one. Okay, so add A plus B. So let's create another one. Let's create another one. Okay, Vim subtract dot C. So we do the same thing, but this is for subtraction. So we say include stdio.h void sub int a int b. <coughs> then we print f and say subtraction. is okay the number new line and what are we subtracting a minus minus b okay save Now, the next thing we need to do is to convert these files into the object, object code. And how do we do that? You say GCC. So let's do that for add first. GCC C, add.c, and we output it to a file called lib add.o. Okay, take note of the extension. So we are creating the object files of the function. Now let's do that for subtraction. 
So that should be sub, the subtract file. Now we have two object files for this. Let's proceed. So now let's create the static library for both files. And the first one we would create the static library. To create a static library, remember we said you use AR, which stands for archive then ROCS, which creates a new static library or overrides what you have currently. Then the name of the static library, I will call this CAC.A, that is the extension, .A, which stands for archive. Then the files I want to add to the static library, so libadd.o. If you had more files, if you have more files, then you had them. Then the next one was libsub.o. Then enter I have an error status okay but let's see if that file was created let's see if the file was created so let me do LX we are looking for libcalc.a libcalc.a so it was created okay so let's proceed let me clear my screen so that we have a clean working environment, so clear. So let's create our main function that is going to, that is going to uh, work with all the functions, okay? So I'm going to say vim calc.c, okay? Since we are trying to calculate .c, and the first thing is I have to impute the header, so h, include stdio.h also i have to include the header file i'm going to create an header file that will store all our function prototypes so i'll call this calc.h so we create our function in its main and let's create integer so int a is equal to 20 int B is equal to 10 then what next let's call our function so the first one was add so let's just send it a B the other one was sub a B And don't forget to return zero. So what we are doing here is we are creating the function that is going to call those other functions and use them, use the results so that we can get the results. All right. So this is just basic header files. So let's save this. And we can quit out of that. Then the next thing is let's create our header file. So calc.h. Remember, we are calling it already, so we have to create it. So we have to create all our function prototypes. So the first one was add, so void. So void, add, and we add int a, int b, and the second one was void sub, we add int a, int b. So that's our two function prototypes. Okay, so we can now move out. Good, let's clear this. All right. Also, we have to create the object file for our calc function. So we say GCC C. So it was calc.c, and we want to output that to calc.o. Okay. 
So now it's time to link the uh, the main function that's the main calculating function to the uh, the static library. So we do this with GCC. Oh, I want to call the file itself CAC. So I want to call it call the file CAC. Then we link the CAC dot CAC.O object file from the calculator. Then also the library file. So we are saying the library file is inside this location. Then we are using the lib, we are linking it to the lib CAC um, library file that we created previously. Okay. So GCC creates a file called CAC, connect it to this CAC.O object file. Put the linker inside of this file. The linker is inside of this folder, and the linker name is libcalc.a. So, enter. All right. And now that we've done that, we can now run this calc file and let's see if our code is going to work. So we say dot forward slash calc. And as you can see, addition is thirty, subtraction is ten. So guys. Basically, this is just a simple program that shows you how to use the static library. And if you are confused, just go back from the video and watch it step by step to understand everything that I have done. So what we've done initially was at first we created, let me do an LX. So the first thing I did was I created a hard, a hard file, okay, a hard program, which is a function, then a sub, sub um, function. Then after doing that, I turned them both into object file, which became libhard.o and libsub.o. Then after that, we created the calc header file, calc.h. We also create the calculator function, the main function. Then we turn the calculator function into an object file. Then after turning it into an object file, we then decided to connect the object file to the libcalc static library with this okay we did that with this then after doing that we got a file called calc.c and when you run calc okay when you run calc c a l c everything in the function runs finally so guys that is how to create a static library by connecting different files and functions together so i'll see you in the next one thank you